A new report suggests the average Florida family could see property insurance costs increase by as much as $319 a year under President Joe Biden's recently announced tax plan. Everyone's going to pay this. Dr. Lars Powell authored the report. He says the 15 to 28 percent minimum global tax rate proposed in Biden's plan could drive up costs for insurance companies, which would then be passed along to consumers. These things don't happen in a vacuum. You can't just say, well, we're going to increase your costs by 10, 12 percent, but we don't want you to increase your prices. They're calling it the, quote, hurricane tax because the impact would be felt most heavily in disaster prone states like Florida. If the president wanted to keep it tax no one above $400,000. Florida Tax Watch President Dominic Calabro says the cost would be felt by every Floridian, no matter their income level. This would severely impact people with income substantially below 400000 and be very much against the very foundation that President Biden said he wanted to enact. It's projected the hurricane tax would drive up annual property insurance costs by $10 billion nationwide and $1.6 billion here in Florida alone. Everybody's prices go up when, when, these, when insurance premiums go up because everybody's got to buy insurance for something. Fiscal watchdogs say by either eliminating the global minimum tax rate altogether or by creating an exemption for insurers, the increased costs could be avoided. Reporting from the state capitol, Jake Stofan, Channel 4, the local station. The tax plan is still in its early stages, and the groups we spoke with told us they are hopeful changes can still be made prior to a final tax package before being approved by Congress.